All right, this is going to be a semi uh, intermediate advanced, basically. Now, here's the common mistake that a lot of people will make. They'll look at some pretty looking cards, even though they're not made hands, and try to raise pre flop. And, you know, basically, when you raise pre flop, when you're playing a side action game, this is all non tournament style. If you're just playing for money, cash on the side, you're putting your money out there with not a pre-made hand. Sometimes it's good, but a lot of times I see a lot of average, decent poker players make the huge mistake of, let's say, uh, let's say the fucking queen jack of clubs. All right, queen jack of clubs. You we're playing one and two dollars, let's say, and you make it eight dollars pre-flop. Guess what you just did? You put six dollars of your hard-earned money out there with nothing and you might have to fold pre-flop if you miss for no reason when you could probably see it for two dollars and you don't flag yourself and say hey look at me I got a decent hand alright now let's say it's at ace jack of diamonds same fucking thing dude same fucking thing I probably wouldn't raise it with the ace jack eighty percent of the time pre-flop cause just think about it I'm sitting here like this I look at my hand I raise make it ten dollars well what do you think when I raise it? What, is, what does a normal human being think? Oh, he's got a pretty decent hand. So if you're looking down at a, a seven fours of hearts, some people may play it, yeah, but your majority human being knows that they don't have the better hand and they will fold the hand when you want them in there and you want their money. So when you get dealt something like this, something around that area, I wouldn't even raise a pre-flop. Let's say it's the king-queen. Same thing. King-queen offsuit. I probably wouldn't raise a pre-flop. Because you're, you're saying, hey, look at me. I'm a red flag. Look what I got. Look what I can do. Everybody. I got a decent hand. Fuck. Sometimes even with the fucking ace-king, I don't raise a pre-flop. Because I don't want to red flag myself. you got to understand this concept. Now, when you get your jacks, queens, kings, aces... Yeah, you kind of have to red flag yourself. But they're probably going to think you have something around this area when you raise it. See what I'm saying? They're probably going to think you have a king-queen and you're not that strong. So, and, and never show your hand, guys, if, unless you have to. If you have to show your hand, show it. But don't show the guy next to you your fucking hand. Because someone like me, you show me three hands. Show me three of your hands and I will know exactly what the fuck you have just about. 80% of the time, I can tell you two cards and you'll be amazed. Because I know your style and what you'll do at that time. I, I know you'll be the player to raise with ace-king pre-flop and make it four times the big blind. Ridiculous. Don't red flag yourself. Just remember that. There's no reason to say, hey, look at me. Look what I got. Not unless you have to. Now, let's say let's say you do get dealt, dealt a very fucking good hand. Two queens. That's my bitches. Now, what would you do with them? You're playing one and two dollars. Do you want people in there? All right, there's a saying that, you know, with your queens, kings, and aces, or whatever, more than likely your aces or kings, uh, you either lose a big pot or win a small one. Yeah, sometimes you'll win a big pot with them. Shit has to work out before you're right. But overall, everything adds up in life, you know. Every dollar adds up, all that. So I would raise five, six times the big blind. So let's play it for we're playing one two. Fuck it. Let's make it uh let's make it twelve dollars. Make it ten more dollars for those motherfuckers to get in there. Yeah, let's put some money out there. Let's see if they want to play now. Now I wouldn't do it with your king queen, your ace jack, maybe even not your ace king because you're flagging yourself and you're putting money out there with not a made hand. Why would you put fucking money out there when you don't have a made hand? It's just beyond me of these some jackasses, they just don't know any better. That's really all it is. They don't know any better, and that's fine. But I'm going to teach you. Don't do it. Wait till you get something around this quality. Wait till you get fucking jacks. Now, you know, another decent hand. Yeah, aces right here on my fucking shirt. It's a good hand. That's what you want. You're looking for something like that. But uh, to every 221 hands, the odds are you're going to get aces or something like that. Kings. A pocket pair or something like that. So, you know, when you get a decent hand like Queens, 
Raise that motherfucker five, six times, eight times if you want. It just depends how you are with your money. I like my money. If you hate money, sure. If you hate money, if you really fucking hate having money, go raise with your queen king offsuit. Just go raise with it. I dare you. You know, 45% of the time, you're going to lose a big pot with it. And you're gonna, it's going to come king, 5-9. If you have a king-queen, you're going to raise it up to $7 playing 1-2. It's going to come king, 5-9. And you're going to love it. And guess who's just going to be sitting there? I'm going to be sitting there with this. And fuck you right in your ass because you don't know any better. And I'm going to beat the dog piss out of you and take all your money. Because I'm not going to raise it with this. I'm just going to smooth call you. There's no reason for me to re-raise and say, hey, look what I got. I got ace king. I got two queens or something like that. I'm going to smooth call you and bust your dick sucker. Because you're not smart enough to just hold on and wait for a better hand. Just just fucking wait. I mean, it's 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 a waiting game. Poker is a waiting game. They say it's 99% boredom and 1% of being completely fucking scared. Because when you have all your money out there with a good hand, you're somewhat scared and you don't want the other guy to suck out on you. Now let's just compare these two hands. Deuces. Okay, yeah. Deuces, that's right. They're not that great of a fucking pair. Now let's just say I don't even need to flop a set. Let's say I move all in with deuces. All in with deuces. Now, a lot of people do this as stupid as fuck. I mean stupid. But let's say you did. Guess what deuces beat? And who's going to call you more than likely with your deuces? This guy right here. This guy's going to call you. Because he doesn't know any better. Well, a pair is better than ace high, isn't it? All fucking day. You know, 40 caliber is better than 9 millimeter all day. 45 is better than 40 all day overall. You know what I'm saying? So... Your deuces is a made hand. That's what you want is a made hand. You don't, and, and you're going to bust this guy. Uh, you know, I think you're 60% or 58% or something like that when you have a made hand over ace high. It's fucking better odds. So, yeah, that's better. So, don't look at your queen jack of clubs or whatever the fuck the suit is. doesn't matter. Or your ace jack of hearts or whatever and think you you got to raise it. No, you don't. You really don't have to raise it. There's no reason for that. Just wait for something like pocket kings or your queens and wait for some idiot who don't know any better. And there's going to be nine other idiots. Probably, you know, there might be a good player. There's going to probably be seven other idiots that's going to raise with this hand. Yep, that's right. And if you if he does raise and you have pocket queens or kings or aces and you want to protect them, don't min raise, which means let's say he bets $5. Well, here's a mistake. Don't make it $10 because you're red flagging yourself. Make it $13. You still want to barely invite them when you have a really good hand. You want to still a little bit invite them. But overall, you don't... Sorry, the fucking power again, man. It's crazy. You don't want to uh, run them off completely. So make it like $13. Just, just raise them... Uh, a little bit over a min raise, basically. You want to keep them in there, but at the same time, uh, in that type of situation, when you have a really good hand, let's say you got aces, and this guy before you raised it uh, twice the big blind. Well, don't min raise him back, which means don't just double his shit. Just barely double it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe triple it at the most. If it's five dollars, the max you want to make is maybe fifteen. Maybe. Sometimes the all-in move works, yeah. But overall, you want to wait. And, and this is a better hand than ace-king. Trust me. It's a better hand. It don't look like it. It don't look like much. But it trumps the ace-king because it's still ace-high. You don't have a made hand ace-high. So the smart thing to do when you get this fucking hand, try not to red flag yourself or something like that. Just try not to red flag yourself. And hey, look. Say, hey, I got a decent hand. It's not a smart thing to do. But... You know, a lot of people can't get out of that habit. I wouldn't do it, you know. Maybe that'll be a good tip and help you out. So, next time think about what you're doing at the poker table. and Maybe this will help you out. I mean, just overall, don't say, hey, look what I got. You're just telling people like me and people who know the basics. Sometimes even they'll catch on. You know, you don't have to be playing against a pro for them to know he's got ace king. Or he's got two nines or something like that. Because you raised it or re-raised it. Uh, 
We're human beings. We can catch on and get hints, even though we're not brilliant. 